Today I've been checking out Starcom Unknown Space, which is out now on Steam for $20.99. Starcom is an action RPG 2D top-down space exploration and adventure game with shipbuilding, a bunch of mysteries to solve, alien factions to meet, and planet after planet of exploration. I have to say this is the first 2D space game to give me Star Trek vibes. You control one ship, you have to meet new aliens, explore the galaxy. It's got a really chilled vibe to it too. When thinking of comparisons for this game, I think a lot of people would say Star Sector, but and I know it's controversial, I actually preferred this. I think it's because it's not as sandboxy, it's a bit more of a controlled experience, and I like that it gave me a direction, guidance, and missions throughout. You're a captain of a ship, and that's it. You don't have to worry about mining, you don't have to worry about this or that. Just go through the galaxy and explore. I get quite overwhelmed when games just say, right, you're on your own, have fun. But I always felt with this one that I knew roughly where I was going to progress towards next. I think the first thing to start off with is exploration. You're basically moving yourself through the universe and seeing what's out there. So there's different ways you'll get about. You can use warp gates, which basically let you move across the galaxy. There's also things called flingers, which basically fling you to the next location. It's usually the next star system on your journey or you can just point your ship in a direction and go there. Sometimes you will need to do this as there will be no other way to get to a new galaxy or area. You'll do lots of scanning. Sometimes you'll find nothing. Sometimes you'll find an anomaly that rewards research points, resources, and quests. Sometimes it will complete a mission or start a new mission off. Exploration always felt rewarding and I didn't find it too grindy. There's also derelicts, little stations and secrets to find out there. Combat is a big thing in this game. You can't really avoid it. It's in real time. You can get like a lock onto the enemy ship, but mainly you'll be controlling the action. Your ship has many systems, shields, countermeasures, reactors, and batteries. And of course, weapons like lasers, heavy guns, and missiles. The more damage you take, the more these systems will go offline. And eventually you will explode. So you do have to be careful. There's also a basic energy system as well. Basically more generators usually mean more energy. Your weapons use energy. So you've got a balance consumption versus regeneration. The damage with the enemies is a little bit different. You can damage individual modules. You can break down and detach parts from enemy ships, remove enough parts or break through to destroy their bridge. And that will destroy the entire ship. In the early game, obviously you have to be a bit more careful with positioning and avoid the hits. But as you get further into the game, you can be a bit more direct once you work on your ship designs and weapons. I had eight fixed guns on my second ship. There was a few areas I couldn't go into for my first ship and returning to destroy their more powerful enemies felt really good. To help you progress, you have a pretty good ship builder. You can only have one ship, which is a bit of a shame, but you can save and load designs. Building is easy. You have a grid of hexes. Ship size depends on the size of your bridge that you have available and each part has a resource cost and you can only have so many resources on that bridge and you can put them together to design what you like. You can find new parts by destroying certain ships or by research which is unlocked by analyzing anomalies, discovering alien artifacts. There is a really hefty research tree to unlock bigger and better modules for your ship. When building, you do have to take into account things like heat and energy uses versus generation, plus where to put armor and bulkheads. There is also full workshop support and some pre-built ships come with the game. Resources are a bit hard to come across, which is where trading comes in. You can mark what materials you need for your ship and then when you go to trade, it'll tell you how many you need of each item, which I thought was a really handy system. I would say one of the weakest elements of this game is the RPG. You have your captain, a randomly generated crew, and each one can like level up a little bit in one of six skills. You send your crew to the planet, research technology, make discoveries and complete quests. They'll gain that XP and then of course you can level them up. These skills do grant passive abilities on board your ship, but also they're critical on the weir missions as there's like a rule system with a chance system mixed with what skills they have. So it is really important to level them up. The crew also talk with you. 
aliens in each other. The writing's normally generally pretty simplistic, but it never got boring and it was always fun to read. Story and mission wise, I would say it's pretty well done. Sometimes you're told exactly where to go. Sometimes they'll be like, well, maybe go to this area but also some missions do really require you to think outside the box or sometimes you might have to find like a certain artifact that's going to work with that object you've found there's also a full log system which you can search through which is super handy you can also pin where that conversation took place which i think is a really good system when talking to aliens and stuff usually there'll be some sort of options these do have real world impact like say siding with an alien race or their enemy and you have to pick and that can have a lasting impact graphics wise i think it looks rather nice the ship designs, the planets, the little graphics you see when exploring or interacting with aliens are all really good. The UI is pretty solid too. I do wish you had a bit more customization though with your crew and your captain. Sound design is also good. There's some nice music in there and the sound effects are pretty good. I also had no crashes or anything. So in conclusion, this is made by a solo developer. It's fun. There's a big universe to explore enemies to fight, traders and factions to deal with, shipbuilding, and it's also pretty chill. I wish the RPG elements were maybe a little bit more fleshed out and it's lacking a certain polish in parts, but it's one of the best 2D space games I've played in years. And in fact, I'm going back to play it now. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you all later. Goodbye.